Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we'll be going over is how to create a camera shake inside of Unreal Engine 5. So let me hit play and show you what I'm going to make today. So you can see I have a ton of these explosive barrels, they don't look great, but they are an explosive barrel. If I were to shoot one, what you can see is that the camera shook, we had the sounds and the explosion effect as well, but the thing we're looking at today is the camera shake, which you can see here. And this is incredibly easy to modify, so you can make it shake more, shake less, shake from a further distance or you have to be closer you can make it last longer all of these different things that you might want to change for your camera shake we can indeed do so this is what we're we'll going over and creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and i'll show you how i've done it so the first thing we want to do is we want to actually create our camera shake so to do that we're going to hold down control space to open our content browser then we're going to right click go to blueprint class we're going to open up the all classes tab here and then we're going to search for camera shake like so. Now there's a lot on here, but the one we want to use is the matinee camera shake under camera shake base here. So we're going to get matinee camera shake and select that. And then we're going to name this whatever we want. For me, I'm going to name it BP underscore camera shake. And in fact, I might even put BP camera shake explosion. So I know which one this is if I wanted to have multiple in the future in my game. And then I'm going to open that up straight away. Now in here, this is quite different to UE4, and I think it is a good, good improvement. I think this makes much more sense, and it's just a lot easier to understand. So the first thing we want to do is the oscillation duration. So this is basically just how long the effect is going to last for. I'm just going to use the same values I used in the preview at the beginning of the video, just so you can see what those are. So I used 0.5, so it will last for half a second. The blend in time and the blend out time does exactly what you'd expect. It's the duration it takes to blend in and out of this effect, of this shake, just so it doesn't look very sharp. I'm going to leave these as the default values of 0.1 and 0.2. Then we have the rot oscillation and the lock oscillation. So this is rotation and location. So you can open these up and you have the pitch, your roll, and the X, Y, and Z. So let's start with the rotation first. All I'm going to do is the roll, so it's going left and right like this. I don't want any other one, but you can obviously do those if you wanted. And you don't need to do both rotation and location, and you don't need to do pitch, your roll, and X, Y, Z. You can just do any ones you like. Again, it's very easy to customize this to get it to look how you want. But I'm rambling on a bit now, so what we can do is change the amplitude, which is kind of the strength, essentially. So let's set this to 2, and the frequency, which is kind of how many times it does it. So I'm going to set that to 50. And then the initial offset is where it starts, so the starting point. So you can have that as random or zero. So it will start with zero offset or it will start with a random offset. I'm going to leave it at random just so every single shake looks slightly different to make it feel a bit more realistic. And then you can choose the waveform, that being a sine wave or a Perlin noise wave. I'm going to keep it as sine wave, but you can obviously choose whichever one you want to use. Again, I'm only going to do the roll on the rotation. Location, I'm going to do all X, Y, and Z. And just to keep it nice and easy for myself, I'm going to use the same values for all of these. So I'm going to do 2 on the amplitude and 50 on the frequency. The initial offset I'll keep as random. But again, you can do any value you like in all of these here. So you can have it as 50 and 50, or you can have it as 1 and 100. Whatever it is you want, change them to be perfect for you. And then you have the FOV oscillation as well which is obviously going to be the field of view, so zooming in and out. So what I might also do on this is I didn't do this in the first one in the preview, but I might also set this to 2 and 50 just to see what that one is going to look like. And also in the preview, I should say as well, I didn't do the rotation, I just did the location. So this will be slightly different to the preview. Then underneath all this, you also have the anim shake. So you have the play rate, the scale, blend in and blend out time, all of which I'm just going to leave by default. So let's compile and save this and that is now our camera shake fully done and set up for us. All we need to do now is play it. So you're going to want to open up the blueprint you want to play this in. So this could be in your play blueprint for whenever they walk. It could be like a head bob. Or you could do it in your gun, so whenever you shoot. Or for me, I'm going to do it in an explosive barrel. So every time the barrel blows up, it will play this camera shake. Again, do this wherever you want. The code will be the exact same. So I'm going to open up my BP explosive barrel here. And you can see I've already got some basic code here for spawning an emitter and playing a sound. What I want to do now, which is the same thing you're going to want to do, is wherever you are triggering this camera shake, you want to do play world camera shake. Connect that up to where you want. And I've got destroy actor, obviously, because I'm blowing this up. But you don't need that. 
and then the shake you want to set to be the camera shake we just created so I named mine BP camera shake explosion the epicenter is essentially where the middle of this camera shake is so I'm just going to do get actor location so it is where barrel is and then the inner radius is essentially anything within that radius will not be affected so you can hover over it and it says cameras inside this radius are ignored I'm going to leave that at zero and in the outer radius you can see cameras outside of inner radius and inside this area are affected so I'm going to set that to 3000 you can set that to whatever you like so you can make it higher you can make it lower but I'm going to set it to 3000 as I think that is perfect for me especially for an explosion you'd want that to be quite large and you can have a fall off as well and if this affects the fall off effect as it nears outer radius just to make it a nice smoother transition and then you can also take orient shake towards epicenter if you want the shake to be obviously oriented towards the middle of the shake which you might want but for me I'm not going to bother with that so we'll compile save this and then let's hit play to test it out as this should now be all done and working for us if I were to shoot one, you can see we're going to have an effect which looks like that. So it rotated slightly, it moved up, down, left, right slightly, and it zoomed in and out slightly. And again, you can obviously change all of these values to get them perfect for you. I think this one looks absolutely perfect for what I want for this camera shake of the explosion. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've set up a camera shake, which again is incredibly easy to customize to get perfect for you. As you can see, this is what I've got here. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.